A quote from Professor Adam Rees, our understanding of the universe was completely wrong. A Nobel Prize winner warns of a strange discovery that the James Webb Telescope has made in the universe. The universe is expanding in a way that we no longer understand, and Webb shows us galaxies that are so strange that they are actually impossible. Our science has come to an end, and what for some is a failure across the board is, for researchers like Adam Rees, the beginning of a new science that brings long overdue answers to elementary questions about the universe. Reese knows that the expansion of the universe and Webb's crazy observational data are connected, and perhaps the whole crisis is down to one tiny little detail that we have simply overlooked so far. Even the aging Hubble Space Telescope has presented us with a peculiar image of a sophisticated galaxy that defies its age. Known as GZ9P3, this galaxy was initially a mere glimmer of light, divulging little information until the arrival of Webb. The new telescope sensation not only verified the presence of this galaxy, but also its extraordinary antiquity. GZ9P3 emerged a mere 510 million years post the Big Bang, placing it in the early epoch of the universe, estimated to have commenced 13.8 billion years ago. The International Glass Project has meticulously scrutinized GZ9P3, unveiling a cascade of perplexities. Glass, short for Grism Lensing Amplified Survey from Space, aims to uncover the light of the universe's eldest galaxies. The findings disclose that GZ9P3, besides its premature genesis, is highly probable to be the outcome of a fusion between two or more diminutive galaxies. This revelation, akin to the galaxy's existence, marks a scientific marvel. While theoretically, galaxies could have formed 510 million years post the Big Bang, the likelihood of them attaining the magnitude and advancement of GZ9P3 is remote. The notion that galaxies could merge so early in the universe defies conventional theories of galactic evolution. The recent analysis by the JWST unveils another intriguing aspect of GZ9P3, a dual nucleus, suggesting ongoing galactic mergers at the time of imaging. The GLASS team's findings indicate that GZ9P3, akin to other early galaxies observed by the JWST, possesses such immense mass and maturity that its appearance defies expectations for a galaxy in the youthful universe. Contemporary discourse among researchers often leans toward the term impossible, albeit cautiously, as these galaxies undeniably exist and thus cannot be deemed truly impossible. Instead, they challenge our current cosmological frameworks, pushing the boundaries of our scientific understanding. What's captivating is that these galaxies harbor billions of stars during this nascent epoch, contrasting with the expected visibility limited to the first stars during the twilight of the Dark Ages. James Webb was meticulously crafted and launched to unveil precisely these initial stars. However, instead of encountering protostars and scattered galaxy clusters, we confront strikingly mature galaxies, seemingly aged billions of years. The existence of such galaxies poses a profound quandary. How could they have emerged in this early cosmic epoch? Many weren't aware that Hubble had already stumbled upon a slew of ancient galaxies that defied conventional understanding. Back then, galaxies emerging 500 or 400 million years post-Big Bang were deemed anomalies, considered outliers. Moreover, discerning whether these luminous spots were indeed intricate galaxies remained ambiguous. Hubble's imagery paled in comparison to the clarity of James Webb's current snapshots. In the early universe, luminous entities might have been clusters of the famed Population 3 stars, purportedly the universe's inaugural stars. These behemoths, comprising predominantly light elements, dwarfed contemporary stars in both size and luminosity, but burned out within a mere few hundred thousand or million years. 
Webb's scrutiny reveals within these nebulous patches a multitude of stars, numbering in the millions or even billions. This contradicts the antiquated notion of a handful of colossal stars coalescing to form protogalaxies. Many galaxies scrutinized by Webb display intricate features like spiral arms and bars, further dispelling the notion of youthful galactic development. Yet, GZ9P3 stands out among the enigmatic ancient galaxies discovered thus far for distinct reasons. Not only does it exceed anticipated mass, but it also dwarfs other galaxies observed by the Webb telescope in comparable cosmic epochs, boasting a mass approximately tenfold greater. Webb's meticulous imaging unveils a profusion of youthful, radiant stars within GZ9P3, likely spawned by the galactic merger and aged less than a few million years. Remarkably, Webb also identifies an aged stellar populace within the galaxy, surpassing 100 million years in age. Leveraging Webb's advanced spectrometer, glass scientists unveil this captivating trove of information about this exceedingly remote galaxy. It's truly astounding what contemporary technologies afford us today. The ability to scrutinize details of a galaxy over 13 billion light-years distant represents a remarkable boon for cosmologists. Webb's spectroscopy even enables the determination of elemental compositions within these distant stars. Distinguishing between young and old stars in this early galaxy became feasible for researchers due to their distinct compositions. Older stars typically exhibit a reddish hue and are laden with heavy elements, often referred to as metals by astronomers. As older stars deplete their hydrogen cores, converting it into helium through fusion, subsequent fusion processes yield even heavier elements. Conversely, younger stars remain rich in hydrogen and helium, allowing for clear differentiation from older stellar populations. Webb's analysis reveals that GZ9P3 abounds in silicon, carbon, and iron, the latter being the heaviest element synthesized by stars. Consequently, the demise of these stars in supernova explosions would have seeded the early universe with metals. A significant portion of these metallic elements likely became the fundamental building blocks for subsequent generations of stars, our galaxy, Earth, and ultimately, ourselves. Indeed, we are composed of elements propelled through space by the cataclysmic forces of massive supernovae. Adam Rees, we have misunderstood the universe. It's a fascinating fact that the best telescope in the world, the James Webb Space Telescope, confronts us with so many new facts that we have to completely rethink cosmology. Adam Rees, the Nobel Prize winner and researcher at Johns Hopkins University in the USA, has been researching the so-called Hubble tension for a long time. He realized before Webb's launch that we probably had a glaring error in our previous understanding of the universe. Ries is one of the leading scientists when it comes to researching the Hubble constant, the rate at which the universe expands. Scientists have used this constant to determine distances, expansion speeds, and also the age of the universe. Ries and his team delve into the perplexing variance observed in the measured expansion rates, stemming from discrepancies when measurements are anchored at different fixed points. Assessing the universe and its dynamics proves challenging, given the perpetual motion of all celestial bodies and the absence of spatial confines for reference. Consequently, scientists rely on phenomena deemed relatively constant, often those emitting copious light as foundational metrics. Light, deemed the most dependable metric in the cosmos, is itself in perpetual flux. Another pivotal source is cosmic background radiation, akin to a fossilized record of the universe's earliest epochs. Adam Ries and his team, leveraging the Webb telescope, sought to refine their investigations, 
aiming to discern whether potential measurement errors of the Hubble Space Telescope could underlie the observed discrepancies. However, Webb's observations revealed consistent deviations, prompting concern. Rias articulated in an interview with the Astronomical Journal in the USA that somewhere amidst these observations lies a fundamental flaw in our comprehension of the universe. The utilization of the new space telescope afforded a deeper exploration of the cosmos through its precise infrared vision, allowing for more accurate study of cosmic distances. With both Hubble and Webb corroborating significant deviations, the presence of an error becomes evident. For Ries and his team, this represents progress. With measurement errors discounted, attention turns to scrutinizing other theoretical constructs and hypotheses to pinpoint the elusive error that could elucidate these peculiar observations and apparent paradoxes. Since Webb's deployment, discoveries incongruous with established theories have amassed. Ries, recipient of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2011 for his discovery of the universe's accelerated expansion, views these findings as an opportunity to propel scientific inquiry forward. Should our previous measurements of the universe prove erroneous, implications extend to notions of age, expansion, and even the Big Bang theory, potentially necessitating reassessment. The universe might be considerably older than previously posited, with implications even for the origins of matter.